another game back here at Wordsworth Drive, this time against Welling United. Uh, a 1-0 win after the 90 minutes. What's your thoughts? Um, yes, great win uh, against a Welling side who are new and are going to gel together and put us under an awful lot of pressure for a considerable amount of time. Um, frustrated in some of the things we did today. Um, lots more to come from us. Dan Lavacum, oh, unbelievable. He was magnificent today. That's why we brought him in because he knew he'd save us games and he saved us points today. There's no doubt about that. Austin Booth, you know, played half a dozen games now for us and looked like he's been here and played 200 games. He was magnificent. Um, and then Big Popper comes and gets the goal and he was, you know, he gave us an hour and he's on triple time today because normally he doesn't do that much for us. So, But very pleased in that sense of the game, getting our win, um, frustrated in some things of us because we can be so much better at uh, decision-making, um, certain aspects of our game, management when we I can't do anything and they've got to, they've got to think for themselves at times but it was more of a torn performance in terms of a one nil at home and we kept a clean sheet and that's very very important they defended and they and they kept going which is really crucial at this time you know it's really crucial while teams are all feeling each other out and that's what it's about at the moment a lot of the London and South East teams have had a huge turnaround of players we try not to do that that's not my thing um but they'll settle down to these teams uh, who aren't getting the results at the moment and they'll they'll do a lot, lot better. So um, we need to get these points on the board now as, as much as quick as we can. Excellent. And looking back over the now four games we've played this season, it's no secret uh, we have picked up a number of cards, lots of rule changes coming in this season. How's that affecting what we're doing out on the pitch? What's your opinions? Uh, it's in, I'm flabbergasted. Um, I'm frustrated. The players are frustrated. The rest of my staff are frustrated and flabbergasted. Um, I understand they have a job to do, but they're not doing their job properly. Um, as a rule, right through. Today included, uh, you know, there wasn't a bad foul in the game and we end up with another five or six bookings. I think we've had 10 in two games. I've been booked twice. Um, inconsistency. I don't know. I, I think these rules and these new law changes, unless they're grasped very quickly by people, whether it's us off the on the pitch or off the pitch, um, this is killing the game. It's making it very, very difficult to manage because we are going to have a number of suspensions um, a lot sooner than we thought, you know, and for, for, for stuff which is just trivial. And at the start, the first thing he said, we're going to have common sense today. Magnificent. Two minutes in, common sense is gone. You, you can't talk to them anymore. Um, unaccount Everybody's got to be accountable in football. I'm accountable. I'm accountable to the club, to my fans, to you, to the team. Officials can come and not be accountable. They can play. They can be terrible and doesn't mean a thing. Doesn't mean a thing. Pick your money up and go home. And I don't normally like to get stuck into officials. So I think they're an incredibly difficult job. I don't think the governing bodies are helping them in terms of not being calm stuff at this level because they need to be. They need to be talking to each other and I think that would get away with, that would uh, get rid of a lot of the consternation and um, assistant referees can be able to talk to benches and talk to people and tell them why and how and where. They need that, they need help. This isn't helping them. This is making the chasm, the gulf between governing bodies, clubs, players, managers, referees, even bigger. And that that's worries me, that worries me. And it makes it unenjoyable, it makes it unenjoyable. There you go, that's my one for the year on referees. That's your one for the year, and we got it in early. That's a Good. Yeah. shame. I always look forward to that. One. But uh, there we go. We'll look forward to the next game then. We've got uh, almost a week off, no, midweek, uh, and St Albans City at home. What's your thoughts? What are we going to do this week? Well, I to thought prepare? they were one of the best sides we played last year. Very, very good technically, caused us all sorts of problems um, that we had to solve on the pitch. Um, so we need to get together on Wednesday and, and, and put a game plan in. And patch one or two up, and it's no secret as we have got an awful lot of injuries at the moment for the start of this season, like you know. So um, I think we're sort of six out at the moment. We may get two or three back for the Saturday, three back for Saturday. So which we need, we need reinforcements. Um, there's no doubt about that. We we need some bodies back because it's it's hard for those lads at the moment, and it was hot today, you know. But. We're back in Wednesday. We'll train hard and we'll, um, again, another 
another home game, you know, and we'll, and we'll just keep building. We'll just little increments, keep building, keep building, keep building. And that's what we're trying to do. We're still very much the small club in this league, only one season in. Um, so we realise it's a it's a massive task for us to, to keep keep us in this, but it's where we all want to be. We want to be playing these teams. So, yeah, looking forward to it now. This one's gone. We go again. Absolutely. And uh, just a quick touch on today. There was around, I think, 722, something like that, uh, in attendance, which seems like quite a big crowd for this time of year, normally with people being on holidays. What edge does having a big home crowd give Massive. to the lads on the Massive. Pitch? It's huge. It's huge. Um, when, when everybody's noisy, uh, they suck the ball in, you know, when we're attacking the top end, especially in the second half, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's a selling point for me. You know, when I'm trying to get players in, look, we get eight, nine hundred, a thousand every week, you know, um, and they're passionate and we, we need them. We need them more than ever now, you know, more people coming from the gate, more money the chairman's going to give me to get better players in. It's just simple rule of thumb. That's all it is. So keep coming. Some as that. Sun was shining today. Loads of kids there. It was, it was great. It's good to see them. Excellent. Well, Rob, thank you very much for your time as always. We'll see you next week. Thank you, mate.